So in section 15.2, we explore the next type of integral needed for vector analysis, the line integral. And I want you to note as we begin this exploration that these curves would in, or these integrals would in fact be better named curve integrals. And you'll see why momentarily. So we begin our exploration of line integrals with the scalar line integral. And this definition is defined in terms of the arc length parameter like we saw back in chapter 12. So looking at this definition, we suppose that the scalar valued function f is defined on a smooth parametrized curve represented by the following vector valued function. So our parametrized curve c is represented by the vector valued function r of s. And we do this in two dimensions to get started. We have x of s, y of s, and this is such that s is the arc length parameter. So using this parameterization, then the line integral over this curve is defined as follows. We have the integral over that curve C of our function f of x, y, ds for arc length, and this is equal to the integral over C of f of x of s, y of s, ds. And we can simply write this in our shorthand, the integral over c of our function s, ds. So this is the most generalized form of our definition. And to understand what exactly we're doing here, let's go ahead and think about this graphically. So here's our graphical interpretation of a line integral and what exactly we're finding here. So this blue surface is the surface. And so this is our surface defined as z is equal to f of x, y. And this red line within our surface here is the curve, our parametrized curve c. And so remember, we represent this as the vector valued function r of s defined by the components x of s, y of s. And so we're integrating over this curve here. So to see the actual line integral, we want to drop our endpoints down until we hit the x, y plane. And we have almost like a mirror image here of that parametrized curve. So we can make a little note to ourselves here that a line integral over C is equivalent to the area under the line. And again, remember that line is the curve C. So a line integral over C is equal to the area under this line. So we can shade this region in here. So what we're finding is the area under this curve or under this line. So this here represents that integral of our function f ds. So you can almost think about the area of the curtain. So the line integral is the area of the curtain under the line or under the curve. So let's go ahead now and think of some examples.